Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Unit 9 Personal Pronouns for Go Grammar Series 2. This is a nice easy one, pretty short, pretty quick and easy. You shouldn't have too many troubles with it at all. A pronoun is a word used in place of a noun. Pro means for. A personal pronoun is used in place of a noun that names people, animals or objects. For example, they told me. I can improve it. We usually label personal pronouns according to person, first person, the person speaking, second person is the person being spoken to, and third person is the person or thing being spoken about. We can also label pronouns according to gender, male, female, or a thing, or number, singular or plural. And we've got some examples over here. So if we were writing in first person, we would say things like I, me. If we're writing in second person, it's you. If we're writing in third person, we have much greater variation here. Let's move on. Activity number one. Write the correct form of the personal pronoun in each of the following sentences. So for this first one, sentence A reads, My brother has not paid something back the money he borrowed from me. So we want a pronoun that describes the speaker in this instance. So we would use me. For sentence B, my dad gave me two book vouchers and I gave one of something to my sister for her birthday. So we're referring to the vouchers, so we need a pronoun that will refer to the vouchers. In this instance, we use them. Have a go at the other activities. Typically speaking, as you're reading the sentences out loud, you will hear the word that makes sense in each of them. Question number two. Circle the personal pronouns in the following newspaper report. Pretty cruisy. I'll only do the first one for you because there aren't too many to do. So we just read through. We don't see any problem with it. We is, of course, a personal pronoun uh, referring to a group of people. So read through the rest of the sentences and see if you can highlight the other ones. Question number three. Again, you have to circle the pronoun. Oops, oops wrong button. Circle the pronouns in the following letter to the editor. Write the person and number for each different pronoun in the space provided. So if we read through this one, I'll just do the first two. No, I think I'll do the first one in this instance. For the first sentence, please stop wasting precious water. There are no pronouns in that sentence. If we don't stop it, all the farmers, crops and animals will die. In this one, we've got we again. We know that from the previous activity. And it is also functioning as a pronoun here. Now, underneath on the bottom down here, we need to write the person and number for each. So for the first one, we is a first person plural. Because it's more than one, it's referring to a group of people. See how you go? Recording the information about the person and number be it first person, second person, third person, and write whether it is singular or plural for the remaining pronouns that you identify. For the take it further activity, after reading the information providing you with the, the extra details, there's only one activity for you to complete. The question requires that you change the following sentences into third person narrative. So I've done the first two for you. We've got the very famous line, 
I saw, I came, I conquered. And if we were to change this into third person, we would have either he saw or she saw. He or she came, he or she conquered. For the next one, you all know that honesty is the best policy. If we change this to third person, it would just be they all know that honesty is the best policy. So really, we're just looking for changing the key terms that help us identify the person that it's written in. Good luck with the rest of the activities. Shouldn't cause you too much of a problem. And I'll see you for the next tutorial. This has been an ETV production brought to you by Prendival Catholic College.